One, two, three. Today's the grand opening or the ribbon cutting of the Envision Center. This has been long overdue. Uh, we started in 2020 and due to the pandemic, we had to come to a hard stop. Um, so we resumed again at the beginning of, I believe, 2021. And now we're almost at completion. We're still waiting for some Wi-Fi issues that we need to resolve. But uh, as you can see today, the building is ready for occupancy. And we're very happy to be able to provide this service to the community. It's going to provide educational services uh, through Virginia Western. Virginia Western will be on site. So not only will they assess and, and refer, but there is a possibility that, that, as you can see with our training rooms, that they'll be able to conduct classes within this facility. Uh, we're going to have job search, resume writing, um, anything to prepare you for work. We're also going to have mental health um, counseling here as well. And we're hoping at some point to have Carillion on board to provide some other type of medical services. I think that this, this is not only for our residents, it's for the community. So anybody that lives in this area or in any other area that wants to come and access our services, they can. So there are a lot of individuals here that have issues that they need to discuss before they can go out and find a job. Um, some of them have, have experienced violence, some of them um, have some drug issues or, or other issues that they need to resolve before they're capable of going to work and, and, and sustaining that employment. So all these services together in one location is the best way. So they get the mental health counseling, then they go into uh, job prep if needed or education if needed, and then we refer them to a job and, and stay with them. So I think this is, it's a one-stop shop for everything to remove as many barriers as we possibly can. So I know they're going to be doing some of their trainings, workshops, and outreach over here. Uh, we have a brand new um, computers, laptops, or a mobile unit that's in the closet. And then that, that's actually a computer, so like you can draw on it, you can type, all of that. And then we have iPads too, so like if an individual maybe can't walk up to it, we can give them an iPad and we can do all their work still on it. Yeah. And when they shared with us what they envisioned, coming into this building to serve this community, we were all for it. What a good use of the old library that was here. What a wonderful use. I've had the tour and it is gorgeous inside and it's going to be very functional. Meeting space, computer labs, you name it. Empowerment center, partners, all the community partners will be right here. All the resources, can you imagine? All the resources under one roof. We're, we're excited.